Hey, this is the video for Energy Flow 3. So go ahead and set up a new entry in your Cornell notes. Remember to start a new page for this video. Also check out our essential vocabulary. Today we will be discussing ecological succession and pioneer species. So ecological succession, simply put, is the gradual change of organisms and habitats in an ecosystem. And we have two types. We have primary succession and secondary succession. Primary succession occurs when there is bare earth or rock. In other words, there is no soil. For example, it could be after a glacier retreats, or it could be after a new land is formed through the actions of volcanoes, like in Hawaii. And an example of secondary succession is after a natural disaster, like a flood, a forest fire, or a tsunami. And this can take anywhere from dozens up to hundreds of years. So the word pioneer, as in a pioneer species, pioneer in history class, you learned that they're the first settlers uh, in the West. Pioneer species are the first organisms to populate an ecosystem during succession. And they include mosses and lichens. Mosses, you've seen that fuzzy stuff that grows on trees. Lichens are the scaly things that grow on trees and rocks. And it is a, it is a symbiotic relationship between an algae and a fungi. And that is all you have to know about lichens unless you take AP Environmental. Now succession occurs. First you'll get smaller organisms like grasses. And what happens is basically you're adding layers and layers and layers of dead material. And over time this can form thicker and thicker soil. So eventually you can support shrubs and tiny bushes. Then you will get an evergreen forest. And finally you will get a hardwood forest. Now, different climates are going to indicate what would be your final stage. You're not always going to get a hardwood forest. You're not always going to end up with an evergreen forest. In Minnesota, where I'm from, it ends in grasses. So succession would only involve three stages. In areas of like California, you will go to shrubs. Uh, in areas of like Colorado and, and Wyoming, you will get to an evergreen forest. This is all dependent on the individual climates of a particular area. Again, you don't have to know all of that. Just understand that it takes up to hundreds of years. And we are essentially competing for sunlight. So if we look at this graph, in early succession, you might have grasses. And in middle succession, you start to have shrubs. So once you get more biomass, it's going to start shading out. So in middle succession, they're still taking advantage of the avail availability of sun. But once you get to late succession, in other words, when you get a spruce tree, a spruce tree is like a Christmas tree, a spruce tree will start crowding out and shading the other, other plants, and that's why their populations are going down. And finally, in late succession, you'll have something like a maple tree. And if this graph were extended, the maple tree population or the biomass would increase as the spruce trees were outcompeted. So it's eventually, you'll get to a population of pretty much predominantly maple trees. So there was a lot of information provided for you. I hope that this video was informative. Uh, please respond to this check for understanding. Thank you for your attention. I will see you soon.